What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and today we're going to be talking about something very very tragic. I remember about a year ago I covered a video about this town in New Zealand that has an official wizard and uh, as of now they've fired their wizard. Yeah, I don't know what type of bad luck comes to a city that fires their wizard but I'm going to assume basically nothing good so I figured we could talk about it and without further ado let's go. Nice rack in her ass Brazilian just turned 21 but my bank's a million swear. Alright so I don't really actually know what goes into being a city's official wizard or like what his responsibilities actually were. I am just saying that it seems pretty harmless to have a wizard in your city. It seems like a a pretty easy way to get tourists to come visit so I'm surprised they'd want to get rid of him. New Zealand Council ends contract with Wizard after two decades of service. The Ian Brackenberry Chanel was paid $16,000 a year to provide acts of wizardry for the city of Christchurch. I just want to know whoever proposed that contract in the first place. You know, nothing against the wizard, obviously, I respect him. I didn't want him to get fired, I'm going to make that clear. But whoever decided that they were going to pay some dude to be a wizard in the first place probably was on some sort of something he bought from the wizard. I'm just saying, dude, like, who at the city council meeting was like, all right, guys, you know that dude that dresses up like a wizard and screams at everyone? Let's give him 16 racks a year and call it a day. I think that would be pretty fantastic. Obviously, at the start, it wasn't the best idea, but after something's been a mainstay in your city for, like, 20 years, it feels just kind of awkward to end the contract, you know? What if he's just still out there wizarding? Are, like, the police going to arrest him now? Is this, like, their official way of saying they no longer want a wizard patrolling the streets? The official wizard of New Zealand, perhaps the only state-appointed wizard in the world, has been cast from the public payroll, spelling an end to a 23-year legacy. The wizard, whose real name is Ian Brackenberry Channel 88, has been contracted to Christchurch City Council for the past two decades to promote the city throughout acts of wizardry and other wizard-like services. At a cost of $16,000 a year, he'd been paid a total of $368,000. So if he's 88 now and he's been a wizard for like 23 years, that means this started when he was 65. That's probably right when he retired. I mean, in America, I know 65 is like the retirement age, right? Does that mean that this dude's retirement gig was literally just dressing up as a wizard and running around screaming stuff like magic words and getting paid $16,000 a year for it? That doesn't sound like too bad of a life, dude. Where do I sign up for this? Is there any towns that, you know, just want some old washed up YouTuber man to come run around and pretend to be a wizard? Because I'll do it. You don't even got to pay me, bro. Just make sure that I don't get arrested for it. All jokes aside, like, could you just imagine the fact that this dude has spent 23 years pretending to be a wizard and, like, now they're getting rid of it, right? Which I understand it's probably an expense. They've had to pay him $368,000. But he's 88. If he can't just retire now, like, does he put this on his resume, you know? Hypothetically, let's pretend he has to go get a job. I doubt it. I bet you he's retired, retired. But let's say he does have to go get a job. Uh, it says here that for 23 years you did magic and acts of wizardry and other wizard-like services. What does that mean? Well, you know, around the city there's plenty of goblins and demons that plenty of come around and try to attack the city. And I would cast spells to protect the people of the city from being mobbed by demons and goblins and those types of things. But sadly they cut my contract because the city council is awful. He better not leave the city, because literally anywhere but this town, they'd be like, okay, I don't know what you're on, but I'd love some. The wizard, who was born in England, began performing acts of wizardry and entertainment in public spaces after arriving in New Zealand in 1976. When the council tried to stop him, the public protested, and in 1982, he became a work of living art. And then in 1990, the prime minister at the time, Mike Moore, asked if he would be coming the wizard of New Zealand. I'm concerned that your wizardry is not at the disposal of the entire nation, Moore wrote on his official lizard head. Wait, are you telling me that in New Zealand they protest over the fact that, like, someone's not allowed to be a wizard on the street, man? What, what a country, man. Like, that's where their problems are at. I'm not even trying to insult them. I'm not calling them dumb. I'm just saying, like, I wish I lived in a country where everybody banded together to protest wizards. Like, we just have so many problems in New Zealand's over here. Like, hey, let the guy be a wizard. Like, that's just priority number one. 
I also love that apparently he was offered to be the wizard of the country. Like, my goodness, how times change. Back in the day, you're the wizard of a country. Now, the city doesn't even want you. This is the perfect plot for a Hollywood movie, dude. Imagine a downtrodden wizard who's lost his way finds an apprentice, one that he will train to become the wizard of New Zealand. But it's not a very good movie. It's like one of those movies where it's just a random sports star and then like some random child actor, you know? Tom Brady is the wizard and he's like, you must learn magic to play football at my age. And then like the kid is just a, a modern version of Macaulay Culkin, but not the Home Alone remake. My goodness, that looks terrible. All right, anyways, I'm getting off on too much of a tangent here. He's been a wizard for a long time. Apparently used to be important enough to a country and, uh, it would be really funny if protests erupted again now, bro. Like, New Zealand just gets thrown into chaos because they fired the wizard. The wizard said he would keep up his regular appearances at Christchurch's Arts Center, chatting to tourists and locals as the center is holding, hosting an exhibition of his life this month, which is supported by the council. When asked if he would curse the council over its decision, he said he preferred to give blessings. I give children happy dreams, general good health, and I want to make bureaucrats become more human. I love how he's just like, eh, whatever, I'm just gonna keep doing it anyways. I just don't understand why they thought the guy that clearly gives so little of an F that he dresses up like a wizard in public and just runs around doing what he wants might care that they're, like, gonna cancel his, uh, little contract here. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure he enjoys the $16,000 a year, that's a lot of money, but if he's got a, uh, exhibition of his life at a local art gallery, it seems like he's probably doing pretty alright on the financial front, unless he's one of those, like, starving artist types. I live to create art, not to create money, and those things do not go hand in hand. Like, hopefully he's not that dramatic. From what I remember, he basically is just, like, kind of sarcastic, chats with tourists, but, uh, you know, overall just seems like just an old dude trying to be a wizard. I don't really know what's up here. It is sad they wouldn't let him keep the contract. Like, they should have at least renegotiated and offered to keep him maybe contractually as the official wizard, but, like, not pay him. You know, I, I figured basically it probably got to the point where they just couldn't reasonably explain why they were spending $16,000 a year on some 88-year-old old man that runs around in a wizard costume, which is fair. I think that's totally acceptable. Imagine you have to answer to, like, the president of your country as to why you've spent half a million dollars on, like, some dude being a wizard. It'd probably be pretty hard to do. But, you know, you didn't just have to give him the cold shoulder. He feels like they're kind of forcing him out because they don't like him anymore. Which is wild. I'm sure he's boosted tourism before. I don't know. It's just all weird. Whatever. It's not my wizard. I don't live there. Not my problem. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to press the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought. And, of course... Subscribe if you're new, turn on those notifications, you know, you can check out the intro song linked down below, or you can check out my podcast, The Scuffed Cast, linked down there. And uh, other than that, use code SCRUBBY at the G Fuel checkout, great way to get a discount, and it's Halloween, so be sure to get yourself the Halloween merch, as you can tell, it looks pretty fantastic, and uh, yeah. On that note, guys, don't get anyone pregnant if you do make sure they're hot, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.